Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new knife company. I've never heard of them. They reached out and said, hey, would you like to check out our new knife? I was like, a duh, yeah. For sure. So they sent three versions of their new knife for me to check out, for all of us to check out. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm not gonna waste time unboxing them. I will show you what it looks like to get one of them out of the package. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay. So it's a regular packaging and it comes with a, uh, what do you call this? A little sheathy sheath for your belt. So let me get these bad boys out real quick. So, hey, let me tell you real quick, every Friday night, Bees Blades, live at the hive. Oh, right. That's when we talk about new knives, knives that have been on the channel, and I have a lot of packaging here. We do giveaways. We give knives just like this away. Matter of fact, I'll probably give one or two of these knives away that you're getting ready to see right now. But we have a four hour live stream, 8.15 to around midnight Eastern time, every Friday night. We all come and hang out. We talk about knives. We talk about new gear, new everyday carry gear, new flashlights. I mean, you name it, anything in the EDC world, if you can imagine it, we have it on the channel. So they come with a little T6 and T T8, uh, little, what do you call that? A little, uh, <laughs> a little tool dealie. And what I think what we have here are maybe three different blade shapes or, oh, okay. I think I'm, I'm already smelling what I'm stepping in here. We have three different scale materials. All right, this first, well, let me just go ahead and introduce this new knife company that I've never heard of. This is the new Emogi Orcus. This is the Orcus series of knives. And this is a S35VN blade. And these are, I'll tell you, you won't believe how cheap these are because there's 30% off. I just looked them up and right now they're 30% off. And if they're half of what I think they may be, they're gonna be worth every penny. So this is some good look at my card. Let me give you a little bit of texture vision. I gotta quit talking, so I quit shaking. <laughs> I get you in there nice and close. So this, oh, this my Carter version feels very nice, very, very nice. So we have a captive pivot, that's a plus. We have a flipper tab, there is no jipping on the flipper. So I'm guessing that's gonna be a drawback. That's probably a nitpick already. And we have a couple of thumb studs going on. Some big jipping on the back that feels like it's going to be usable. And uh, oh yeah, look at this. We have a reversible clip, it is not deep carry. This is kind of like the old style clip that you see. It is stone washed. I'm really not thinking that that's gonna be titanium. Just for uh, shins and giggles, <laughs> let's, it's, uh, no, it is not titanium, it is very magnetic, but let's go ahead and get this blade out. Let's see if this blade li looks like, let me get this stuff out of the way, my goodness. Are you ready? Pow, right in the kisser. All right, so this style reminds me a lot of another knife company. It happens to remind me a lot of Shieldon just because of the style. It could be that we have a, 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 a similar designer. 14C28N blade steel. Now I was under the the uh, impression that these were S35VN. Oh, okay, we do. So we're gonna have different ranges here. This one S35VN, and then this one is S35VN. So it looks like this might be their budget model, but I like the looks of it <laughs> the best. So. Before I get any farther, let me show you these three different versions and then we'll do a little action ergos, size comparisons, things like that, and then see how the fit and finish are working on these. So we have a micarta version with 14C. This one here is carbon fiber and is this G10? Um, I believe so. This looks like G10 with the carbon fiber overlay. And then this one here, is G10 and it has some very nice texturing. So it's kind of a wave pattern. It's like ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka chunk It feels very nice in the hand. It's not overly grippy. And you know what? While we're showing these, let me get this, put this in and out of my pocket and let's see. In and out of the pocket. I'm wearing jeans right now. And uh yeah, it's it's pretty easy. I got a little bit of grab because there's not a ton of room un underneath that bill right there. But going back to this one right here, let's go ahead and let's, you know what, <laughs> having three. So this one, I'm getting blade play left to right. Uh, not up and down, but left to right, it could be tightened. And you know what, let me show you this. I noticed this is a new knife company, so let's get in it. It says, before use, please check the screws with the screwdriver. My first inclination here is that is what quality control is for. So QC should already be checking the screws before they put it in the box. And then of course they say cl clean and dry the knife. Now, let's check this one out. Okay, that one moves. This one, this one's solid, left and right, up and down. And this one, 
This one's solid. So this one needs tightened just a little bit. And while I'm down here on the table, let's do this. Let's see the dimensions of this bad boy. So we're coming in at about 8.1 inches total length. Your handle length is coming in at about 4.6 inches. Your blade, um, right at the three and a half inch mark, about 3.45 sharpened length. So just about a three and a half inch sharpened length blade, which isn't too shabby, not too shabby at all. The blade height is about 1.1 inches. So it's it's not a super lightweight knife. And we're don't worry, we're gonna check out the rest of the stuff and get more into it because this isn't a knife company we know about. So we want some more information. Another factor that we all talk about and we all look at when we're getting new knives and wondering whether to buy them. By the way, the price range of these, I, I they're all on Amazon. And I saw that they, right now, they have a 30% off clippable coupon. So you're gonna be get, able to get these in, from the 35 to $42 range if I'm not not mistaken. That's what I wrote down. Hopefully my math was right. So here's the G10 version coming in at 5.8 ounces. So it is a chonker. How about the 14C version? This one's 5.7 ounces. And then the carbon fiber overlay is 5.88. So this one comes in at almost 5.9 ounces. You're getting close to the nine ounce or the nine ounce, <laughs> close to the six ounce. And I can, I can tell I can tell that this one has considerably more weight. I'm not sure exactly why, but let's give you a quick size comparison before we check out some more things right here. So we're gonna start out with the QSP Penguin because everybody loves a penguin, right? So it is not a small or medium sized knife. This is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. You, if you're newer to the channel, these are a couple that so many people have. I love to use something that someone could get an idea and compare it just because they they have the knife. So there's two popular knives. And then here are two popular knives for people that have been in the knife world for a while. Here's the Spyderco PM3 and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's more in line with the size of the Paramilitary 2. Now, because we're doing a little bit extra on this one. Let's check this out real quick. We get out the old, uh, the old Minitoyos. So your blade stock on this bad boy is coming in at 144 thousandths of an inch. And then behind the edge, let's see what kind of uh, behind the edge we have going on here. I'm just gonna take a couple measurements. I usually do more than that when I'm really being specific. But behind the edge, is a whopping 32 thousandths of an inch. It is very thick. Let me get right behind the edge there. 28 thousandths. So up there where it's a little bit thinner, right behind the edge, 30 thousandths of an inch. So uh, the blade, ge the geometry on this is going to be, if you want a tougher knife, not one that's gonna be slicey. It's not gonna be a slicey knife. This is gonna be one that you're gonna do some tougher stuff with. Now looking at the finish of these blades, let's get up here nice and close. Very nice stone wash finish. And how does it feel? The edge is not rolled. Um, it does not, just, just from my experience, the edge does not feel like extremely sharpened. You can see they've already put a smile on it right up here at the top. There's not really, there's no sharpening choil. They've already put a smile on it. And what kind of lockup? This one, the lockup's in the middle. Okay, the pass-through is not hateful. The pass-through is pretty good. They have adequate room to get in there and disengage it. And are we centered on this one? It's nice that we have three examples. That one's centered and let's check them all out while we're doing it. This one, the lockup is in the middle. And this one is uh, slightly off-centered towards the clip side. And the reason why is because it's not completely tight. I guarantee if we tighten that down just a hair, this one's gonna be centered. So, and that's something how you, uh, you know, one thing leads to another. Uh, this one also has good lock. All three of them, they're locked up in the middle. And this one is centered also. So besides this one needing a slight sharp or a slight tightening, I think that you're gonna be good to go on the fit. Now I'll have a link down there where you can see more information. They'll probably tell you what kind of bearings they have, but from the looks of it, it looks like we have cage ceramic ball bearings going on. It's kind of hard for you to tell with the great amount of light I have going on, but those don't look like steel. Hopefully it's on the website, maybe, maybe not. But on Friday night, if you come to the live stream, I'll take one of them apart. I'll show you how to take it apart, clean it out. I'll show you what the inside of this looks like. All you have to do is bring it up, say, hey, bees, will you take the, the new Emogi Orcus knife apart and let us know what the inside looks like? By all means, I would love to. I would love to do more disassembly and I need to try to get back to that. Unfortunately, time is definitely a factor. Now, my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Let's see what it feels like. So the ergos aren't too bad. Giving it a little bit of the B squeeze, 
as if I'm bearing down. Yeah, the ergos, I have no complaints. What am I feeling? I'm feeling this edge right here of the G10 where that could stand to be a little chamfered off. Maybe a couple swipes with a little bit of sandpaper might help me off there. And do we have any internal milling? Um, so this is one reason why the knife is so heavy. They haven't milled out any of that liner. So if they took out a lot of that metal in the liner, that would greatly improve the weight of this knife because I would hazard to say, and you can tell me in the comments, what do you, what do you think about it? What's your opinion on this? A lot of everyday carry knife lovers tend to like knives in the three and a half, three to three and a half to four ounce range. Once you get to five, five and a half, close to six ounces, that's a, that's a winter knife. So maybe this would be more of a winter knife because it, it has a little bit of heft to it. Now I myself like heavy knives, but a lot of folks tend to say, oh, I don't like knives that weigh that much. So, you know, that's something I'm curious to what you say, you know? If you're wearing some khakis and you have this on, you better have on a belt, you know what I'm saying? Now, the action, let's see how it goes here. It's a drop shutty. That one feels really good. And how about the uh, carbon fiber overlay one here? Yeah, so they have good action, good ergos. Let's see what it feels like like this. So if I'm doing a little bearing down, that's not bad. It's not, it's not hateful. The edges of this, um, you can feel, you can feel where that, where that carbon fiber is. It's, there's kind of a ridge right here. Um, I wish that was kind of rounded off just because if I'm going to be using this for something tough, which is what I assume these are made for because of the lack of uh, geometry, look how thick that is. <laughs> That's a chunky boy right there. Um, I, I would guess that you're going to be doing a little harder stuff. So I, I, I would uh, want that a little softened up on the inside of here, just a little bit of sharp. If you look, uh, if I go in here and just do a little bit of that, see how it's taking off a little bit of fingernail, but overall for the price for in the 35 to 42 buck range, um, if in fact these are S35VN, um, I find it surprising that you can get S35VN for this price range. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to sharpening this knife and seeing how hard or how soft the steel is. Typically, S35VN, you're not gonna get in this price range. So that is something that is a question mark in my mind that I am curious about. I don't know of many S35VN blade knives out there that you can get in the $40 range. So I do have a question mark when it comes to the steel. Uh, maybe they can, uh, maybe they can uh, get with me, let me know a little bit more about their steel. Have they verified it? And maybe Love Them Knives could send a couple off and get them tested, get the HRC tested and see what we're working with. But this is what we're working with. This this is the new Emogi Folding Knives Orcus. I appreciate them sending these for me to check out, do a little testing, and then I'm curious to see if anyone else has got one of these knives. You've heard the pros and maybe the cons, if you will. I have a couple nitpicks here and there. What is that? Do it, is, oh, yeah, is that a bear? It's a roaring bear. Maybe that's his name, Emogi, Umogi. But I see potential. Every time I see a new knife brand come up, the ones that listen to the knife community and they pay attention and they make changes, they end up uh, getting right in there, getting in it to win it. So tell me what you think about the new Orcas series by Emoji. I will have a link in the comment section and in the description of this video where you can go check these out for yourself. It's a link to all three of them. Now, go watch this video. You'll really enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive stream, remember, Live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.